Alright, this is uh, yet another video that I'm making on how to get a piston back into a caliper if it happens to pop out by accident. Um, in this case, I had to take the piston out because I didn't want to uh, melt the seal uh, when I had to heat up the caliper like super duper hot to get the old bleed screw out. It was, uh, it was a job. Anyway, so now I'm faced with putting the piston back in. So uh, what I did was I pulled the piston out and once you pull it out in the bore, you can see there's a seal. Like it's it's sort of like an O. Well, it is an O ring, I guess, and uh, or a square ring. It's in the shape of a cross section of a square. But anyway, it's circular and fits in a bore right inside there. And I took that out because obviously that's what I did not want to cook. This outer seal right here. This is just a dust seal. Um, you know, you'd like to keep it intact if you can. But uh, the real business that keeps the hydraulic fluid in is that other seal I told you about. So anyway, I, after I'm all done, I got the new blade screw, the thing's cooled down, I put the original, uh, the original seal back in, the pressure seal, so that's in, and now I went to put the piston back into the, uh, you know, into the bore, and the silly dust seal got in the way, and no matter how much I spun the uh, piston, I couldn't get the dust seal to come kind of out around it. It is around it now, um, but what I had to do, like it was always, the seal was getting jammed, like, by one side of the piston or the other side and uh, by the way I have this heavily lubed with uh, piston lube or caliper lube um, just to help uh, grease along but anyway what I did was um, I figured well this is a rubber uh, this whole dust seal is kind of like a balloon and um, if I put the, the piston over it the balloon should expand a little bit and so I have this uh, I did it the first time without this but it's here for, for uh, the second time uh, I'm, I'm doing it and uh, so this is a caliper uh, or a piston compressor tool thing and uh, basically what I did was I took compressed air and I used my you know air nozzle here right into the inlet the hydraulic inlet and I turned down the pressure to uh, quite a bit at first I, d I started at like 40 psi and that didn't do anything so I worked my way up to like 50 or 60 and that that did a fine job and uh, as I, maybe I can even show you what happens. Now I've got the piston too far in the bore now and it's up against the high, the, the high pressure seal. But anyway, putting a little air in there caused this thing to balloon right up and right around the piston. And now the piston goes right into place. So, you know, how great is that? And uh, good luck with your projects. Bye-bye.